Hey guys, um, so for this particular review, I'm going to spend a few minutes discussing the movie Pay It Forward. It was released in 2000, and this was actually one of the first movies that I watched as a kid that really taught me empathy. It taught me about love and a consistency in love that that you don't get very often. Um, for those that don't know, and I have it pulled up here on my laptop, uh, this movie was released in the year 2000. Uh, it stars Kevin Spacey, Helen Hunt, and Haley Joel Osment. Uh, this movie is so powerful. This movie is very powerful. Um, the synopsis for this movie, as it reads here on IMDb, is a young boy, which is played by Haley Joel Osment, attempts to make the world a better place after his teacher, who is played by Kevin Spacey, gives him that chance. And let me tell you, this movie will teach you empathy on a level that you did not know previously. I'm telling you, there's a space of honesty in this movie that literally 22 years later still resonates with me. Everybody that I know that has watched this movie, they always say, this movie changed my life. This movie taught me how to love better. This movie taught me how to display a level of empathy for people that don't look like me. People that don't identify in the same way that I do. And it taught me how to love from a consistently pure place. I don't even have the full language to describe how powerful this movie is. Um, the movie didn't have to win a lot of awards. Um, the movie didn't need public, rec uh, public recognition for its contributions to the film industry. Didn't need any of that. It did not need the public accolades and the hooray of men and women, boys and girls around the world. This movie is one that requires a deeper level of soul work. A level of soul work that is unheard of. If you have seen this movie, you know exactly what I'm referring to. The converse, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, my apologies. The conversations in this movie are powerful. Mm. They are so powerful. I'm just reflecting on the conversation as I in the movie as I hear them in my mind. Um, the storyline is powerful. It's so powerful. I'm telling you. It is a powerful story. It's a powerful story. It's a powerful story. Um, movies like that do come out every few years. And you always remember them years later. They always stick with you. And that is just to the larger point, and I've mentioned this before, just about the need for movies that stick to your heart and don't just toggle with your emotions. This movie, Pay It Forward, will stick to your heart. And I mean it.
This movie is not just another casual thing to watch. It's not. Um, And it's actually based from a book. Oh, excuse me. Uh, The book was written by Catherine Ryan Hyde. Let me pull that up really quickly. Um, She is an American novelist. And she wrote the book Pay It Forward in 1999. It has 288 pages in the book. Um, Excuse me. This movie is powerful. I keep saying that for a reason. Um, Wow. It's not often that I'm, that I'm not without words when it comes to TV shows and movies, but this particular movie really has me speechless at this current time. Um, I don't know. That movie was so... Um, that Pay It Forward movie was so revolutionary. Um, it really changed how I see the world. I don't um, pay to um, those that are inside and watching. I, for some reason, I can't see who's watching. I don't know what Instagram is doing. But hello. Um, and my comments are not showing either. I don't know what Instagram is doing. It's a very stupid app at times. But this Pay It Forward movie is amazing. As I've mentioned before, it taught me how to love on a deeper level. It taught me a space of empathy. Um, But it also taught me to hear people when they speak. If you watch the movie, you understand what I'm talking about. Um, This movie taught me how to understand where people are in their life. And to do my due diligence in hearing them before I respond. That's the essence of this movie. That is the space that this movie brings And that is where this movie exists in the context of great films. I do believe this is a great film. I do believe this is a great film that needs to be viewed forever. So I don't, I wouldn't say watch this movie just to have something else to watch. I would genuinely say watch this movie to learn how to love better. To learn how to empathize deeper. To empathize and to extend yourself into a space of love that is so open, so accepting that nothing you that nothing anyone else says will ever stop that. That is the reason why I recommend this movie. It is a life lesson in a matter of two hours. And the way that I perceive art and film and TV, I apply it to my life. I always have. And I always will. Watch this movie today. You will not regret it. I promise you. If you <clears throat> if you've watched it over the years, I recommend rewatching it. I really do. So that is my review for this particular film. I love you. I hope you will watch this movie.
And let me know what you think about it if this is your first time watching it. Hopefully you get some great takeaways from this movie. If you watch it intentionally, you will have a lot of life, a lot of life lessons in it. A lot of different lessons within that movie. Don't waste the time. Intentionally watch it. It'll change your life. It has and still is changing mine. And I watched this when I was much younger. I'm 27 now. The first time I watched that movie, I was six years old. And I understood every particular point that was expressed in that movie early. Early. So, until the next review, I love you. And I hope you stay well. Stay in peace, not pieces.